Ang tutuking programa, may turingan niyang Rated PG. Kailangan ang patnube at gabedeng pengari para karing kayanakan aman albi. This emerging rural landscape is gradually becoming one of Central Luzon's commercial and art hubs. For this episode of Travel Art, we'll be exploring Bungabo Nueva Ecija's multi-layered aspects with Rad bringing on an adventure of its breathtaking views, Bianca discerning its engaging culture and value, and I immersing myself into Bungabon's art scenario. With this, I want to welcome everyone in the Philippines and Southeast Asia's largest producer of onions. Welcome to Bungabon! Hashtag Bung Bungabon! for onions located here in Bungabo, Nueva Ecija. Teresa El Ilagan Cold Storage started in 1963 to help the farmers preserve their onion crops before their distribution to the market. Let's get to know more about their livelihood and culture. Hello humans, I'm with Miss Eliza Parse from Teresa El Ilagan Cold Storage. So, Miss Eliza, uh, can you tell us the background of uh, Teresa El Ilagan Cold Storage? Um, yung Teresa Ilagan Cold Storage is ano to eh, family, family owned to. So since 1963 pa, nagmula pa sa mga lolo namin, sa mga lolo-lolo namin, tapos hanggang ngayon sa mga pamangkin na apo na kagaya namin dito. And uh, paano po ba kayo nakakatulong sa community ng Bongabon? Um, para sa akin ah, kasi ang goal namin, ito tinayo namin to para talaga makatulong kami sa mga magsasaka. Lalo na ho yung mga magsasaka na pa isa, -isa lang, pa dalawa-dalawa kung magdala, tinatanggap namin dito. Kasi yung iba nahihiya dahil kolong-kolong lang yung dala nila. Pero kami talaga ang ginagawa namin dito, kahit isa, dalawa, tinatanggap namin. Welcome dito lahat ng mga magsasaka. For sure, maraming challenges na napagdaanan. Opo. Ano po ba yung biggest challenge na pinagdadaanan nyo taon-taon? Um, ang naalala ko lang talagang nung nagkaroon ng earthquake, talagang naapektuhan tong tong ano namin, tong building namin, talagang nagkaroon ng ng mga bitak-bitak, naapektuhan yung mga sibuya sa loob kasi nung time na yon may laman kami. Yun talaga yung pinaka biggest na pinagdaanan ng company namin eh. Etong earthquake, kailan po ba siya nangyari? Yung 1991. Nung 1991, wow. yung malaking earthquake talaga, yung naapektuhan uh -huh. yung buong Nueva Ecija. Uh -huh. Yun. Na, ayun, makikita nyo, may mga bitak-bitak siya. Uh -huh. So, napilitang ilabas ng mga farmers yung sibuyas nila kasi wala, wala kaming choice eh. Kasi nagkaroon ng, magkakaroon kami ng renovation or repair kami sa loob. Kaya kailangan mailabas yung mga sibuyas sa loob. Ano po ba sa tingin nyo yung nakakapagpa-stand out dito sa Bungabon? Ang nakakapag-stand out dito, siguro yung mga magsasaka. Naisip ko kasi kung hindi dahil sa kanila, wala tayong ginagamit na sibuyas. Pero kahit anong hirap nila, kahit anong lugi nila, patuloy pa rin silang lumalaban para dito sa... Para sa atin, hindi mawala yung production ng sibuyas dito sa Bungabon. Often, we compare sensitive people to an onion skin because of its thin texture, making it vulnerable to sudden changes. But my exploration here in Bongabon showed a different image of its townspeople. It was in April 28, 1949 when Doña Aurora Aragon Quezon, the first lady of our former president Manuel Quezon, got ambushed right on this spot together with her daughter Maria Aurora, Philip Juan Camino III, and the former Quezon City Mayor, Ponciano Bernard. Sibuyas Festival is celebrated Marie Aurora. the 9th of April every year. And we're so lucky because we've arrived just in time to join the festive vibe in Bongabon. This festival is their thanksgiving for the abundance of their crops. But what touches our hearts 
is the main reason for celebrating this prosperous event. Uh, in 2004, I thought about coming along with this festival. Nang nagbiyahe ako doon sa Kaligo, sa Ate Atihan, ay uh, nakita ko kung gano'ng kaganda at kasaya at ang kulay at ang ganda ng kanilang kultura na alam ko na pwede mangyari sa aming bayan. So, ang aking kaibigan at best friend si Baby Ang, kinausap ko kung pwede sana may magturo ng mga bata para makuha namin somehow yung beat at saka yung, yung enthusiasm and influence also my townmates to, to create a festival that is uh, uh, colorful and also yung bang tunay na kasayahan. So, in 2004, it was born with the cooperation of our mayor at the time, Mayor uh, Amelia Gamilia, who is also may kinakapatid na binigyan niya ng buhay at nakita niya ang tunay na kultura na pwedeng bag na bagay sa aming bayan. Yun ang kultura ng Sibuyas Festival. Tito Armando shares to us that his inspirations are the onion farmers who strive hard to provide for their family. He, together with the townspeople of Bongabon, dedicates this festival for the hard-working farmers who wake up early in the morning each day, with high hopes to have an abundant harvest. <laughs> You know, the people is very, you know, we are simple people. We just like to eat three times a day. We just want to live in peace. And we just want to be remembered as, you know, beautiful people in this part of Nueva Ecija. Now, the, the, the question was so, was, was so nice. No? What, what, do they, what, what do we want the, the tourists to feel when they are here? Simple. I want them to feel that it's worth visiting our place. When we return, we will get to know Bungamon's art and culture crusader, Mr. Armando Quiron. This is where exciting opportunities await you, where you can reach greater horizon for your career and work with Australian clients. Recreate a better culture for graphic designers, web developers, accountants, virtual assistants, online marketers. We care about your career because we are more than just a BPO company. At Anytime Fitness, our tagline is get to a healthier place. Our priority is to get you feeling healthy from the inside and that's when your physical form comes next. At Anytime Fitness, everyone is welcome. At Anytime Fitness, we give you three promises. A convenient gym, a set of personable staff, and getting people of all fitness levels get to a healthier place. So we're inviting everyone to come check out our gym. We're located at the third floor of New Point Mall, Angeles, and third floor Vista Mall, San Fernando, Pampanga. Come and join the Purple family. See you guys! of beauty and art, a thriving entrepreneur, the owner of Huron Biton, uh, Botanic, and uh, the father of Sibuyas Festival. Mm -hmm. And everything, the owner of everything beautiful and elegant. Mr. Armando Huron, kamusta po kayo? Mabuti naman. I'm honored to have met you and to, uh, to have this moment. Yeah, we've seen your garden. We've seen some of your collections here. Uh -huh. um, nakita ko kanina, parang it's one big collection of... Uh, Pag travel mo lahat and then you, you brought all of them here. Why did you build this? I built this for one reason. Uh, to create a name for my town. Uh, as you can notice, kami ang dulo dito eh. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's the end of Nueva Ecija, towards Aurora. Uh, 
the only thing which is a passport to everything nice is our uh, onion industry. And it is also my claim that it is, should be tagged within, uh, within the, the region and the Philippines and to the world as the onion capital of the Philippines. Pinaglalaban ko yan. When you were young, uh, I learned that you were a seminarian. Yes, I was a seminarian. And uh, I, was, I was saying a while ago when we, ha we were chatting a while, uh, at the age of 10, I already had a focus on how, who will I be and I, what will I become. I already knew that I will become a designer and a oh. famous one. But in college, you took pharmacy at I the took University of Santo Tomas. Yes. So what happened there? Uh, yeah. I made a, um, an agreement with my dad. Because if I will not pursue with pharmacy course, I will not be sent to college. Okay. Ang uh, kasi... May connotation sila because he belong he belong to to old school. Yes. Na ang pagiging designer ay pagmumudista. Okay. I have a brother who's a lawyer. I have a, a sister who's a nurse. Most of them are are professionals, and they will turn out to be a budista. Mm -hmm. So that will be prostrating prostrating on my parents. Yes. So I pursued with pharmacy course, and in my third year, without their consent, I I pursued. An interior design course at PSID. It used to be Kansho. Third year college at San University of Santo Tomas. What was the turning point? The finally you decide I'm going to pursue fashion design. Yeah, but but coming along, interior design uh, was just a base. It's a base where I should uh, develop my artistry. I should have the rudiments of art, all mm. everything about art. But the fact that it is, we don't have really good schools for fashion at the designers. Time, right? Yes. And at that time, I was in—I was 15 years old. I was I already doing apprentice work for designers. I was—I was with Peter Santiago before, yes. and and um, uh, at 15. At 15, wow. I was in college. I graduated high school at the age of 15, mm -hmm. fresh in college, fresh out of the seminary. It was a complete turnaround, and yes. it was really a little, dis a little disappointment in behalf, you know, with my parents. Did they really accept the decision? They have no choice. <laughs> uh, so you went on. I went on and pursued. Uh, at the age of 18, I opened up a business in Mandaluyong. At with, 18? At 18. Wow. Uh, I had like a 50 peso capital, a borrowed sewing machine, and 100% of dedication and courage. Hey, I'm going to make it. Oh and I'm going to make it big. <laughs> and in the year 1979, you left the country and went to Big Apple. Yes, I you went to New, New York. It is the Big Apple. It is a, a big opportunity for young people to make it really good. Uh, there's a saying, you should have a slice of the Big Apple. Yeah. And uh, the time when I had my first interview with fashion, the, the biggest, threat, the biggest uh, challenge is that you are from Manila. What do you know oh, about you? fashion? Oh my God. So that was a, a very tricky question during my, you know, uh, pursuing for a first job in New York. And I answered, put me on the job and you will know who I am and what I can do. Oh my God. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so I, that, that really spoke for it. And I landed the first, uh, the first job without me knowing. At the end of the week, I was, at the end of the, the month, I was making 600 US dollars a week. Oh, that was, uh, that was 1979. 90, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, the rest was history. I bumped around with, with the Rahusu in New York, and I said, at any cost that I have to pay the price, I'll do it just to get my ambition to get where I should be. How do you describe your, your art and passion? Uh, I go for very, very simple lines. Uh, I go for, for you know, classic lines, uh, rich fabrication, beautiful, uh, beautiful um, construction, mm -hmm. simple lines, uh, and that's it. Did it you use indigenous of, materials already when you were back here? No. No. I, uh, it took me several years. I have to make research about our local fabrics. I did a research with Pinya for fabrics. Uh, I, also, I did a to the Pinya Passionista yes. that was showcased Lobby by the uh, Pinya Passionista. Tourist that was showcased Lobby. way back many years ago. And I also went to different uh, uh, areas in the south, in the north, studied indigenous fabrics. And, uh, and I was good at it. And everybody was... dreams to have a name for himself. Everybody dreams to, to, to be recognized, to have that uh, 
that mark on Philippine fashion yeah. areas. Mm -hmm. Of course, everybody. Uh, before I was a resource speaker for uh, I still have foundation that. regarding uh, uh, sizing and pattern grading, mm -hmm. because here, 80% of our work are, are basically couture. It's mm -hmm. always custom made. But I have to teach on, on factories and, and teach uh, uh, the rudiments of pattern grading and, mm -hmm. and uh, in order that we can penetrate the international market. Uh, I, I think I was pioneering with that, uh, with um, helping the, fa the fashion industry uh, sponsored by Miralco Foundation. Yes, and in this career, you stayed for 41 years. 41 years, yes yes, yes, yes. But then there was another shift. After yes. fashion design, then you went on to art dealership. So yes. what was the transition then? Okay, the I remember the time that uh, when I opened my shop in, 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 uh, in Mandaluyong, I had this uh, friend of mine, Mrs. Lemado, of the famous clan of the Reyeses mm -hmm. of Aristocrat. And when she went to my place, she told me that, hey, you've got a lot of Erte's work, but those are, are cop, uh, what you call uh, prints. Mm -hmm. And then why don't you get into art collection like patronizing Philippine art? Yes. And that started my, uh, my craving for Philippine art. My first art collection was a Federico Alquas. Mm -hmm. uh, sabi nga niya sa akin, iba ka naman palang klase. Hindi ka pala mag-uumpisa sa, sa upcoming, mag-uumpisa ka pala sa master. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next thing that I knew, uh, I was already doing clothes for Mrs. Luz, with Tessis Luz. Yeah. And uh, Arturo Luz also became my friend and, he, and it started to collect his art as well. So I began working on masters rather than working on the upcoming, upcoming artists. So how did that help you? Uh, that helped me very, very well because... Uh, uh, from there, I got to know local artists. I started with Rose, with uh, Oscar Salita, who happened to be uh, a very good friend of mine. And then uh, from then on, uh, the rest of the artists came to me. And I befriended also uh, Marlene Aguilar, and I did several projects with, with her book projects for Philippine art. Yes. And uh, the rest was just history. And the next thing I knew, I was already... Uh, uh, showcasing art here and abroad. Oh, wow. And that was history. And until today, you're still doing it. Yes, I'm still doing it because of love for art and love for culture. And now I am seated as uh, the vice chairman of the governor for uh, Nueva Asia Council uh, for History, art Culture, and, and the Art. Now I wonder what will be your message to those who are emerging, who are still trying to find out ano ba magiging medium ko, genre ko, what will I do in this life, uh, when it pertains to artistry. What is your, your advice to that? Uh, the advice that I would say is very easy. Get to know oneself. Sabi nga ni Socrates, know thyself. You have to know yourself. You have to study your kind of crop. The only thing that can give a link to everything that you do in artistry is to create a message what contribution I can give into Philippine art. You should have that palace of the artistry when you make a breaststroke that already designed the name and that excellence and that creativity will surface and will become a mastery. That is my message. Know thyself and you will come up with the best artist that you can be. Wow, very beautiful. Thank you. Yes. And the last question that I have for you, what do you consider to be the most significant um, contribution that you've ever done in your life, considering all of the things that you've done in fashion design, in art dealership, in your simple, humble uh, way of life here in Bongabong. Uh, I, I, cannot, I cannot end that story because there are a lot of things more to accomplish. There is something more to learn, to expand. The universe is so <laughs> grand. There is more discoveries and, and uh, illusions and uh, and uh, magics and yes. all of the things. Sibuyas Festival is just a passport. Not I created, not for myself, but for Bungabong. Uh, my, my fashion is also not only for myself, but for my town and for the whole Philippines as well. Because uh, as you can say, I, I can claim I made it at the ASEAN and I, uh, I ventured into to the, to, to the world stage of fashion and and uh, everything about our bando is can be shared. It is not for me alone, it is for everybody.
My, my life is an art, and I breathe art every day, and the whole thing that I do is full artistry. Hey everyone, welcome to my favorite part of the show, <laughs> Food on Flick. <laughs> it's a segment where I eat, of course. <laughs> so, uh, I'm now here with Tito Armando. Yes. Uh, Tito Armando will uh, show us, or will eat all this, present us two dishes that we can't wait to eat, right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. this is it, right? Yes, Inumi. yes, yes. Inumi. Um, it has uh, the fruit of tamarind and oh. also the young le leaves of uh, tamarind. Okay, so that makes it more special, right? Yes, it's really special. Okay, so uh, it is somehow uh, called in other places to be given. So, but this is our uh, version. Blend. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. It's kind of hot. Wow. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I can finish this off. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's set this aside first. Okay. Right. Tito Armando, what's this? Okay, uh, we call this our soleche. Our soleche? Yes, okay. uh, in every birthday party, we have that for dessert. It has uh, milk, sometimes they put caramel milk. Okay. It has uh, coconut milk, okay. cheese, and uh, the, the diet flavor. Okay, so. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> I can live here. <laughs> yeah. Okay guys, bye. I'm gonna live here with Tito Armando. <laughs> Ever. You're gonna drop by at Bongabon. You're not gonna you're not only gonna see or gonna find onions around, but also you're gonna find tinumis or solet. <laughs> Up next, we will meet the peculiar hair and blood painter, Mr. Elito Circa, also known as Amang Pintor. This is where exciting opportunities await you, where you can reach greater horizon for your career and work with Australian clients. Recreate a better culture for graphic designers, web developers, accountants, virtual assistants, online marketers. We care about your career because we are more than just a BPO company. At Anytime Fitness, our tagline is get to a healthier place. Our priority is to get you feeling healthy from the inside, and that's when your physical form comes next. At Anytime Fitness, everyone is welcome. At Anytime Fitness, we give you three promises. A convenient gym, a set of personable staff, and getting people of all fitness levels get to a healthier place. So we're inviting everyone to come check out our gym. We're located at the 3rd floor of New Point Mall, Angeles and 3rd floor Vista Mall, San Fernando, Pampanga. Come and join the Purple Family! See you guys! Kasama natin ngayong hapon na to, si Mr. Elito Sirka, also known as Amang Pintor. Okay, sir, ano po yung pinaka-commission uh, medium na gagamitin natin ngayong hapon? Uh, acrylic paint, uh, mm -hmm. water-based siya. So, ito yung ginagamit ko kapag ka... So, ito yung uh, ginagamit ko kapag ka... Uh, painting. Uh, ginagamit ko commission ka... Uh, ito yung mga uh, parang... Uh, 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 parang... Uh, uh, Mayroong, alam mo naman, yung may bayad ka noon, yeah. o kaya donation. So, natitawag natin na commissioned artist dahil uh, yung customer natin minsan meron silang gusto na uh, medium, style, yung mga okay. ganun. So, yun. So, so uh, talaga doon sa napaka-peculiar and sometimes people refer to it as an odd mm -hmm. medium which is you are using hair and yeah. blood sa mm -hmm. inyong uh, mga artwork. Yeah. Ano po hair ng... Human hair and human blood? <laughs> uh, yung ano, buhok galing sa akin. So, human hair. Then, yung blood, uh, sarili ko. Yung blood ko yun. 
So ito kasi nag-start ito nung maliit ako. Ginagamit kong uh, brush kasi noon, yung buhok ko. So yun yung ginagamit ko pang paint. Then yung yung buhok ko na yun dumidikit din sa mga canvas noon. So hindi mo na on, tinatanggal. Noon nahiya ako, natanggal. Eh. Na ano, na nanjan. So itinatanggal ko. I'm surprised ganun. you still have hair today. <laughs> Pero ngayon, binabalik ko siya. <laughs> Parang ganoon. Ano ibig sabihin like how how many strands of hair for example when you work? Para sabihin mo na it's a it's a, a medium that has your hair. Ah, uh, meron pagkakataon na depende no kung halimbawa ginagamit ko lang siya bilang as a uh, grass ganon. Mm -mm. So, siya yung parang grass lang diyan. So, depende sa ano sa obra na ginagawa. Oh, okay. Ganon. Okay. Meron naman yung lahatan, so depende siya. Sabi nga nila, uh, sining kasi parang ano yan eh, uh, experiment mo sa buhay kung paano ka nag-exist, di ba? Paano kang uh, isinilang sa mundo, paano ka nabuhay, paano yung buhay mo, ano ba yung buhay mo, ganon. So, ito ay eh, part siya ng experimental, no? Bata, hinahanap mo yung sarili mo, di ba? Okay. Ano ba talaga ang tao, ang pagiging tao? Mm -hmm. So, ganun. hanggang sa later on, kagamit mong kagamit. Kasi ako nagsimula ako mga, nung bata ako, mga 5 years old, 7. Ano, so, ka, uh, didiscover ko ng mga kagamitan, yun nga, hanggang blood, nasubukan ko na gamitin. Kaya lang nun, signature lang siya. Okay. Ginagamit ko lang signature. Pero later on, medyo parang ang sarap-sarap ng dating kapag ka... Uh, blood yung isinain mo doon, no? Yes. <laughs> Oo. Para bang sayong sayo yung, ano, yung, paint, yung pinta mo, gano'n. So, later on, nadap ko na rin na yun. So, how, Sabi ko, wala you, namang masama. How did you extract masama. it? Saan? Sa fingertips? Dati, dito lang. Uh, hmm. Kinukuha nung dati. Pero nung medyo tumanda, meron akong yung lancet para pang kuha, yung sa diabetes. Oh, so, yun yung ginagamit ko. Pero pag malaking obra na yung ginagamit, ginagawa ko, Hindi mo pwede yung pint-pint ng ganyan. na siya. Na. May ano na ako, may... May donors ka na? Uh, may, may tagakuha na. <laughs> may tagakuha na. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. But all of these are human blood, no, yeah. not even animal blood. No, no, no. No. Uh -oh. well, why? What, what's the special thing about it when you use it? Sabi ko nga, no, naniniwala kasi ako sa tiyatawag natin ang buhay. Uh, uh, may buhay sa kabila ng pagpanaw. Sa English, reincarnation na tuloy. No? You believe in that, yeah. reincarnation. Uh, hindi naman masamang ma, what, diba? ma maniwala sa ganun. Yes, yes. Sabi ko nga, it's part of uh, experiment. Paano mo yes. mapapatunayan na ikaw ay nag-ring ka dito sa buhay, di ba? So, siguro isa na yan, yung blood at saka hair. At the same time, authentication na uh, ikaw, sa'yo lang yun talaga. Ang do kasi other, yung DNA mo, di ba? Yeah, do you know if other artists who do the same, na ginagamit nila, or it's just you? Uh, sa ngayon, nung nagsimula kasi, nung na-discover kasi ako dito, sabi ng media noon, ako lang daw sa buong mundo mm -hmm. yung gumagamit noon. Hanggang yes. noon, nagsunod, sun, nagsunuran na lahat yung ibang mga artists din. May gumamit na rin. Sa New York, sa ano, ganun. Pero mga bata pa yung mga ano na yan. Ngayon, uh, sabi ko nga, no, kasi yun nga, mo, yung mga ginagawa ko kasi more on ano eh, uh, yun nga yung sa reincarnation. So tinitinan ko, tinutuklas ko kung pa paano nga ba yung tunay na yung buhay ng tao. Saan ba? After nito, saan, nasaan ka ba ngayon? Wow. Parang ganun. So inirelate ko yun sa, uh, at the same time, sa painting ko, sa kalikasan, uh, naniniwala nga ako, sabi ko, naniniwala nga ako sa ano eh, tatlong bahagi ng tao. Katawan, katawan. isip, mm -mm. tsaka damdamin, di ba? So, pag pumana ko rito sa mundo, sabi ko nga, eh, ang naglalaho, yung katawan mo at saka yung kaluluwa o yung isip mm -hmm. na iiwan sa mundo. Pero yung spirit mo naglalakbay. Hmm. Tapos yung spirit na yan, sabi ko nga, ano siya, constant dito sa universe. Uh, para siyang particle in the universe na hindi siya nababawasan. Yes, yes, hindi siya, nabaw hindi siya nababawasan, hindi siya nadadagdagan. Mm -hmm. Constant. So, pasalin-salin lang siya sa iba-ibang uh, mundo, sa iba-ibang universe siguro. So, yung mga <coughs> nagawa mo mga artwork actually revolve around this, you know, this concept mm -hmm. of reincarnation, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yun talaga. So, yun. Uh, Na-apply ko doon. Hanggang later on, pati sa colors ko, uh, inaaral ko yung, ano, yung mga color na nakakagamot ba. Ganon. Mga healing colors. Yun talaga. So, pili kong kinukuha noon yun. Hanggang later on, na-prepare ko na rin. Uh, ito kaka yung kulay na ganun. Dapat lumabas sa painting ko, mga ganun. So, kasi ito, itong color na to, pag nakakita ng may sakit sa ganito, nahihil siya. Oh. So, ito yung dito yan. Wow. Yung color na yan. Ang therapeutic painting. Yes, But yes. For, uh, for one obvious reason, it is. Kasi hmm. it really appeals to the soul. Yeah. Pero for, for this kind of art na talagang, you intend it to be like that. Mm -hmm. That's really something else. How did people perceive your art? Hindi ba sila parang, ay, kadire, may buhok, may, may dugo? <laughs> ah, actually, ganyan. Ganyan ang buhay talaga, mm -hmm. di ba? Pero ano naman yun eh. 
Uh, eh, kung titingnan mo kasi yon at uh, titingnan mo lang yung sinasabi ng tao, di ba? Magkakaroon ka ng kahon. Parang nakakulong ka lang sa isang kahon eh. Uh-huh. Maganda yan. Isipin mo, laya ka lang lagi. Kasi kung malaya ka, magagawa mo gusto mo. Sabi ko nga, uh-huh. isa na rin yung, kung eh, isa na rin yung takot mo sa buhay, di ba? Uh, pag natatakot ka sa isang bagay, nagkakaroon ng haulay yung sarili mo. Yes. So, bakit, uh, ano, iwasan mo yung takot sa buhay mo? Maniwala ka sa kapalanan mo, maniwala ka sa ginawa ng Panginoon, parang ganun, no? So, at least, magiging malaya ka dun. Wala kang kinu- oh, hindi ka natatakot maglakad sa madilim, hindi ka natatakot mag- kung saan pumunta, mag-explore. Is there something else that you would like to explore as an artist? Pumunta, mag-explore. Uh, like what? Uh-huh. Is there something else that you would think o parang meron ka pang gustong i-experiment pa? Uh, Yan na, mag- magtanong kung saan pumunta. Uh, actually, ang artist, uh, naghahanap ng st- st- style, medium, Hanggang ngayon, may medium na ako, may st- may subject na rin ako sa ano, pero open pa rin ako doon sa baka may biglang may darating na bagong medium na millennial siya yung hindi pa natutuklas sa bano, iba yung mga dating yes. pag ganun, di ba? Ang sining ay pinakamataas na antas ng pagkikipagugnayan sa lahat ng bagay, parang ganun. So, para bang lahat ng bagay pwede mo kausapin, pwede mo ano, may way sila. Yes. Kung paano makipagugnayan sa atin. Matagal na yon na inaano uh, yung mga ganong bagay na hindi nakikita ng iba. Pero para sa akin yan, madali lang naman kung paano makipagugnayan sa lahat ng bagay. Gumagamit sila ang tinatawag na elements, uh, elements of arts. Yun lang naman yan. <clears throat> so, paano mo siya mauunawaan ng bulaklak? Parang bulaklak. Paano siya mauunawaan na siya ay nalulungkot? Diba? So, nakikita mo na kagad doon sa gesture niya, sa hubog niya, sa kulay. So, sinasabi niya, oh, nakuha ko ko. Anong gagawin mo? Didiligan mo siya kahit di, hindi, hindi mo intention na diligan siya. Pero, Instinct na sa atin yun ay eh, nag-uusap yung spirit sa spirit. Yes. So, tinidiligan mo siya. Nang yung tinatawag na instinct. Yung know, parang gano'n. So, tinidiligan mo siya. Nang you know, parang gano'n. The mind of the artist. Yeah. For you to read it, you can understand and appreciate it. Kaya sabi ko nga, mas mahalaga yung nasa loob kaysa yung nasa labas. Pagka kung ikaw ay titingin sa isang painting. Karamihan kasi sa tao, titingin lang puro labas eh. Yung big sa yung kung ano lang nakikita lang. Ito, hindi ko sinasasabing art. Hindi ito yung art ko. Produkto lang ng sining ko ito. It's a product of my ano. Ang tunay na sining dito tayong nag-uusap na masaya. Yeah. Diba? Tiyatawag ko rin siyang banga ng mga alaala. Para siyang uh, CD sa USB sa computer. Mm-hmm. Na tuwing nakikita mo siya, dumabar kay alaala mo. So, okay. it's st- stories of memory. Yes. Yung, ano, yung produkto ng sining. Yes. Isa lang naman ang elemento ng sining sa lahat ng ano. Diba? Isa lang. Uh, kahit sa sayaw yan, sa music, sa ano, isa lang siya. So lahat ng bagay nakikipag-ugnay sa pamagitan ng elemento ng sining. is my interview with the country's first rust painter, Mr. Ramon Pizon Lopez. This is where exciting opportunities await you, where you can reach greater horizon for your career and work with Australian clients. Recreate a better culture for graphic designers, web developers, accountants, virtual assistants, online marketers, We care about your career because we are more than just a BPO company. At Anytime Fitness, our tagline is get to a healthier place. Our priority is to get you feeling healthy from the inside and that's when your physical form comes next. At Anytime Fitness, everyone is welcome. At Anytime Fitness, we give you three promises, a convenient gym, a set of personable staff, and getting people of all fitness levels get to a healthier place. So we're inviting everyone to come check out our gym. We're located at the third floor of New Point Mall, Angeles, and third floor Vista Mall, San Fernando, Pampanga. Come and join the Purple Family! See you guys!
is Mr. Ramon Hison Lopez, the first rust painter in the Philippines. Hello, Ramon. Hello, po. Yes, and welcome to uh, Travel Art. Ngayong hapon, we're going to uh, witness how you do this. But first of all, bakit itong ang napili mong medium? Why rust? Uh, kasi kadalasan po eh, Uh, walang ano walang materials ang mga artist doon sa lugar namin mm -hmm. and then eh, maraming mga magagaling na mga bata hindi makapagpaint kaya yun magmula noon naisip ko sa damit uh, <coughs> mahirap tanggalin yung rust pagka naglalaba yung nanay ko okay. kaya ayun magmula noon sumusuong-suong before <laughs> Ang magmula noon, naisip ko na na pwedeng gamitin. Mm -mm. At what age did you start using it? Ah, mga ano, mga 13 ako, 13, 14, mga ganun. Mm -hmm. So ngayon, how many years na since then? Mga 15 years na siguro. 15 years oh. na. Dahil malayo bilihan sa Manila or sa mga bookstore pa, bilihan ng oil paint. And this comes with zero cost, di ba? Mm. Oo. Oo. Kanina, pinakita natin how do you uh, actually scrape it. How do you really, uh, paano nga bang mo na nakakagawa ka ng isang ganito? Ba, uh, yun nga, uh, kinakaskas ko yung <laughs> sa mga junk, junk na mga materials lang, mga rusted metals, mga ganun. Mm -hmm. Tapos, pag nagpowder siya, kung gusto mo ng oil paint, linseed oil or oil base naman ang iahalo mo. Pagka mm -hmm. water base naman, pwede namang tubig lang. Ay, colors ang pwede, uh, ilan ang color derivatives kung ito lang yung from the rust? Lahat ba ng colors magpaproduce? Hindi, yan? kaya. So, Yun lang mga, mostly, mga brownish, saka uh, mga reddish, yan, minsan ano? orange, mga ganun. Okay, okay, Depende okay, okay. sa rust na ano, pag galing sa lata or sa bakal, ganun. And are you contented with that? Yung, yung um, limited color, ano natin? Range natin when, with your art? Oo, oh, sakto naman na siya mm -hmm. kasi monocro yung nagiging effect. Mm -mm. Uh, isang color lang, parang water color lang. So right now, um, please tell uh, us kung ano yung concept, ano yung theme natin for this. Uh, itong ginagawa Peter. ko, mother and child, kasi madalas ito yung ano ko, subject ko. Yung pagmamahal ng ina sa anak ko. Oh, I'm sure there's a backstory about uh -oh. that. So can you tell us bakit uh, this has been your favorite subject? Kasi uh, parang sa akin, sa buhay ko, ganun. Na uh, inalagaan ako nung nung magulang ko na hindi ko naman talaga siya tunay na magulang parang mm -hmm. ganun. Na parang ganun kasi kwento eh yung pinamigay lang ya ako parang ganun. Oo. Tapos So you never had a chance to meet your mother? Ah, hindi, hindi ko na nakita oh. Mm -hmm. Pati tatay ko hindi na rin. Wala. Hmm. So yun magmula nung doon ako nagpo-focus mas maganda kasi yung subject. Kahit And, hindi mo tunay na magulang parang ganun. So, And, halos. Oo, uh, saka ano yung simplicity ng buhay lagi ang ipinipaint ko. Tulad nito, may mga bamboo, parang kahit sa makikita lang sa bukid yung oh. yung simpleng buhay, parang ganun. Your heart is heavily influenced by your surroundings, no? Mm. And of course, our life's experiences. So, when you paint like this, um, are you ano ba ang ano mo dyan? Are you, is it because you, you are disappointed about life? Or it's Hindi naman. more of the, your appreciation that you have ako. a mother who took care? Uh, may yung pasasalamat ko, kaya bawat obra ko halos puro ganun. Puro mother and child. Kasi uh, yung pagmamahal lagi. Kaya walang disappointment. Ganun. Meron ka bang tinitingala na artist that uh, for you, you consider to be your idol or your mentor? Marami rin, marami rin na uh, artist na ano eh. Sino sa mga Depende Pilipino? Kasi. Sa mga Pilipino? Sa yung, Pilipino, yung mga, yung mga national artists, karamihan mga idol ko. Si Vicente Manansala. Mm -hmm. Kasi same style kami nung, ano, nung mga subject, madalas puro mother and child din. Kasi. Uh -huh. Tsaka yung kasimplihan ng buhay, yun lagi ang madalas kong pinipinta. And I'm also curious how at how people perceive your art using rust. 
kamusta naman yung first years mo when uh, they learn it's really different, no? Mm-hmm. Eh, madalas din na ano, may mga comments sila na parang negative. Kaso pag nakita na nila yung pinalabasan ng paintings, tapos uh, kasi lahat naman, ano, may pag natapos may top coat, nilalagyan ko ng top coat siya. Kaya pa Uh, gusto kong parating sa mga an, ba, ano may nagbabal uh, uh, yung may talent sa pagpipinta na hindi had lang yung kahirapan an, ba, ano may uh, lang yung kahirapan an, ba, ano ng mga gamit yung kahirapan an, ba, ano ng mga gamit yung kahirapan pwede tayong mag-isip ng mga bagay na pwedeng magamit at maging kapakipakinabang pa hindi lang mga sa pinturang mamahalin sa mga brush, ganun. There was one time that you also competed, right? Using uh, this one. Pakikwento mo nga yun. Uh, open, ano kasi yun eh. Open category, open media. Parang mm-hmm. pwede lang kahit anong gamitin. So, naisip ko nga yung sarili kong medium mang oh. inilaban ko. National level to, di ba? Uh, so, you competed with uh, different artists. Mga mm-hmm. ilan yun? Iba-ibang mga ano, okay. atake lang. Lahat yun. Buong mm-hmm. Almost 200 entries yata. Eh, nakita naman nila, tsaka sinuri nila na ano. Kasi yung iba na, yung mga talagang mixed media, pwede naman yun, iniahalo. So yun, nag, tsaka maganda yung napili yata nila na ano. But you won second place? Oo. Uh, dahil sa subject din. Sa sim- magiging simpleng buhay, magbubukid, mga ganun kasing ginawa ko doon. Sa ano yan, sa agriculture yata yun. Oo. So, do you always compete? Do you always look for avenues where you can uh, compete? Hindi naman. Pagka, ano lang, pagka may invitation. Kasi ngayon, busy na rin. Sobrang busy na rin na ano. Wow, with only one color. We can come up with this. Wow. Okay, let's show you uh, your work. This is the rust paint of uh, Mr. Ramon Vizan Lopez. Uh, do you have any title for this one? Hindi siya pwedeng Madonna and the Chair, no? Mm. Madonna uh, and the Bamboo. And the bamboo. <laughs> Musings of a canvas. I watch your disheveled stance, eyes burning, lost in the vagaries of your cataclysmic wars. I watch in silence, trepidation, admiration, passing through eclipses and sporadic seasons, waiting for that release. Unadulterated, electrifying, the overwhelming sensation gradually consuming me as soon as your brush lands on my nakedness. Oh, how I swim and drown in a sea of colors, how I gladly suffocate in your quandary. And though I may gather dust from time to time, I am exalted to the highest echelons of my humble existence, in my stillness, in the audacity of my raging fans and critics, I am no longer naked. I am nothing without you, because you find beauty lurking where others don't expect it at the very least. You found me, and I'd gladly be found again and again.
This is where exciting opportunities await you, where you can reach greater horizon for your career and work with Australian clients. Recreate a better culture for graphic designers, web developers, accountants, virtual assistants, online marketers. We care about your career because we are more than just a BPO company. At Anytime Fitness, our tagline is get to a healthier place. Our priority is to get you feeling healthy from the inside, and that's when your physical form comes next. At Anytime Fitness, everyone is welcome. At Anytime Fitness, we give you three promises. A convenient gym, a set of personable staff, and getting people of all fitness levels get to a healthier place. So we're inviting everyone to come check out our gym. We're located at the third floor of New Point Mall, Angeles, and third floor Vista Mall, San Fernando, Pampanga. Come and join the Purple Family! See you guys! The Lalam Lake is one of the hidden gems and breathtaking view you can find in Bongabon, Nueva Ecija. The place is actually surrounded by mountains and in the middle, there's a lake. The lake was connected to the nearest dam which supplies water on the field. Hey everyone! Right now, I'm here at the Lalam Lake, one of the sites being developed by the local government of Bungabon, Nueva Ecija. We will be exploring more of this landscape to get to know how exciting Bungabon is. What are you guys waiting for? Welcome to Red Ventures. Bungabon, Nueva Ecija really has a lot to offer, especially when it comes to breathtaking views and being one with the nature. Good thing the local government of Bongabon are doing their best in developing and improving their tourism sites. I've seen the efforts that they are putting in and this place has really a lot of potential. I'm here in Bongabon, the onion capital of the Philippines. Aside from its agricultural bounty like onion, corn, cabbage, and other vegetables, there is one hidden gem to be found here. This is the perfect place para mag unwind, enjoy a nature with your family. CJ Water Park Resort, Hotel and Restaurant. If you guys are looking for a place to stay in when you visit Bongabo Nueva Ecija, make sure to check out CJ Water Park Resort. They have very friendly staff that will assist you when you need them. And the resort also has a function hall where you can hold any events like birthday party or wedding reception. It has a great location so you can enjoy swimming while gazing at the Sierra Madre mountain range. The rooms are clean and you will really feel at home while staying at the resort. CJ Water Park Resort is located at Barangay Larcon, Dongabon, Nueva Ecija. Or you can call 044-806-1632 for inquiries and reservations. Hey everyone, if you ever find time to visit Bongabon Nueva Ecija, make sure to check in and visit CJ Water Park Resort Hotel and Restaurant. I'm now here with Ms. Terrio Minuya, one of the owners of CJ Water Park Resort. Mom, you can invite them. Hi everyone, um, gusto po kayo dito sa CJ Water Park Resort. Sana restaurant, barangay, third one, Bungabon, Nueva Ecija. Uh, Monday to Sunday, open po kami ng 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Punta po kayo dito, uh, feel the summer and feel the heat. Yan, feel the summer and feel the heat, everyone. So, um, make sure to like their Facebook page at CJ Water Park Resort. Uh, and please like. A poet, 
writer, artist, critic, editor, and publisher, all rolled into one. Our featured international author of the week is no less than the multi-talented and multi-awarded Filipino-American poet named Aileen R. Tabio. Aileen invented the popular minimalist poetic form called Haina Poo. Now on its 15th year, I'm proud to say that I'm also a part of it. Aileen actually loves books and has published more than 50 collections of poetry, fiction, essays, and experimental biographies from countries in nine countries and the cyberspace. Her poems have been translated into eight languages and computer-generated hybrid languages such as drawings, paintings, Kali martial arts, music, modern dance, sculpture, and a sweatshirt. Additionally, she has edited, co-edited, and conceptualized 14 anthologies of poetry and visual arts, which have been circulated in the United States, Asia, and Serbia. Her book, The Thorn Rosary, gathers a collection of prose poems that were published from 1998 to 2010 in the United States, Philippines, and Finland. From the afterword by poet scholar Joey Barrios, and I read, one could perhaps consider Aileen Tavios to be the Angela Manalan Gloria of the 21st century. Her poems all at once crisp, flowing, interrogative, tender, innovative, funny, thought-provoking, and revolutionary. And as the Asian Week described Miss Aileen Tablos, and I told her, she is one of the foremost Filipino-American poets of the 21st century. You can find all of the books of Aileen Tablos on Amazon and at selected bookstores in the United States, here in the Philippines, and elsewhere. So there you have it, Miss Aileen Tablos and her book, The Thorn Rosary. rest of the world come and visit us you will not regret it so here I am uh, asking and requesting you to visit us because I know I know that we can show you a different place a different experience and a different love coming from my own town thank you very much Right now, we are here between the boundaries of Bongabon and Aurora province. And it is standing at two places at the same time. And that marks the end of our feature of this charming town of Bongabon, Nueva Ecija. I hope Bongabon made you excited to explore more of Central Luzon's hidden attractions. This has been one of the most enchanting places we've ever visited so far. Do you agree? Yes, yes, yes. And that leads me to my last question, Ooh. which is, what is that one word mm -hmm. that best describes your experience in this place? Okay, I'll go first. Heartwarming. Wow. Because we are boosting their tourism, but I think it's the people of Bungabon who will attract more tourists to come and visit their town. What about you, Rad? For me, I think it's promising because mm -hmm. the, the people here yes. and the local government are helping each other to establish or to improve their, their tourism. Mm -hmm. As for me, it's not just one word. Wow. Wow. Two words. <laughs> and Bongabon is a okay. sleeping giant. Wow. By that, wow. I meant that this town actually have what it takes. Um, they have great people, they have great initiatives, and they have great leaders. Yes. And we would like to take this time to thank the mayor, the leader of this town, Mayor Ricardo Ilagan Padilla. Thank you. We also would like to thank the people, the beautiful people of the tourism office, and everyone in the municipality, <laughs> and a special mention to Tito Armando Hiron of Buta Hiron Botanic so for much. accommodating us. A lot of people welcomed us here, and we were so delighted with what we have experienced all throughout the day. Yes. Exactly. Of course, let's not forget, we would like to thank CJ Water Park Resort 
for accommodating us. Right? Yes. They gave us a very nice place to stay in mm -hmm. <laughs> here in Bongabon. Thank you so much, everyone. And this leads us to oh, yeah. the winner. Yes, the winner yes. of our last week photo has to contest. The winners are. Now, for our photo hasher contest for this episode, mm -hmm. the mechanics are easy. It's, it's, it, you, all you need to do is take some pictures around Bungabo Nueva Ecija, mm -hmm. post it on your social media accounts like Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And then don't forget to include our official hashtag for today. Hashtag Bungabon. And of course, hashtag TravelRTV. Also, don't forget to like us on our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at TravelRTV, and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Bye, humans! I'm Bianca, but you can call me B for short. And I'm Rad. I'm Aya Gutierrez, and this is where art beats. TravelRTV!